Now today is the big day that we're going over to Tasmania on the spirit of Tasmania. There's a whole lot of questions that are asked. What do you do with your gas bottles? What do you do with the jerry cans, motorbikes and all the other gear and what have you not? When you get your vehicle and you book it all in, you can find information on their website. But basically with your jerry cans you need to make sure that they're either completely empty and not smelling of fumes. And I don't know how you go about that. Otherwise you just fill them up with water. So I've just filled mine up with water, she's having a good glug 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 and I've got two on the generators on the back there as well as you can see and I've also got the motorbikes on the back and they've got lids and petrol and all the gear but I guess they're properly certified and qualified and all the rest of it so hopefully they won't be a problem either. Now with your gas bottles if they're hooked up to the bus then that's fine but any free ranging ones that aren't hooked up to the bus with the pipe then you've got to hand them in whether they're full or empty doesn't matter, hand them in. Um, that's about it. There's a low bridge on the way into Melbourne, I forgot which route it's on, so just duck when you see it. You've got 3.7 metres of clearance if you've got a high motorhome, check it out, find out all about it. Other than that, let's get on with the journey. When you're going on the uh, Spirit of Tasmania, no fruit, no vegetables, no plants or anything like that, so leave your hooch behind. And don't forget, you can't bring any uh, bloody bananas, you Queenslanders. <laughs> what do you do, or what do you do while you're waiting for the uh, Able Tasman? Oh, crikey, what's it called? Spirit of Tasmania. Woo! Well, we're just sitting in the bus and eating some of these. What are you eating now? Charlie lollies. Charlie lollies. What's a trolley lolly? These. Trolley lolly. Trolley. At the Botanical Gardens, even. At a development site. At the shopping centre. At Hyde's IMAX. <laughs> well, we're on our way to the Spirit of the Tasmania on the road now. I'll tell you what. Without a GPS, you could end up in any old place, WA, Perth, anywhere. So we're not too far away now, and the boat's just over there, off over there, out on the water there. Have a look, there she is, the Spirit of Tasmania. Prepare to cross the roundabout in 300 metres. First exit onto waterfront. Pause. The boat's out there in the background. We're here at the car park. Everyone's getting ready to get on board. Not to show how long or when you can, but there's not many parks down here. We're here three hours before leaving, so it's about four o'clock and leave about seven and thirty. Anyway, there's the boat and here's all the people just waiting around. This is where you hang out while you're waiting. Tasmanian Ocean or Bass Strait, whatever they call it. It's like a big cup of dirty tea or something like that. And uh, anyway, back here in the Port of Melbourne, and this is where all the boats and the cars are all lining up to get into the spirit of Tasmania out there in the background. So moving right along now, we're getting close to the uh, the big boat up there. I hope they put the bug plugs in. You've got to get out and have a go. And if you want to get somewhere, you want to go to Tasmania, if you've got to push your car on, you just got to do it, haven't you? We're just coming up to the ticket booth here now, and there she is, the boat, broadside. If I knew that I could uh, push my vehicle on, I would have saved the gas. <laughs> Hello, so we've got Ellie and Neville, yeah? Yes. And I also need driver's license, thanks. Sure thing. All right, we go, we're heading up now on the big ramp up onto the uh, Spirit of Tasmania. The bloke in front of me is going to stop a bit short of the mark. Come on, mate, keep it moving. Let's get going. I don't stop on the big slope now, do I? There she is. So here we go, we're going on down now and on and into the uh, uh, spirit of Tasmania, going into the belly of the giant. It's going to swallow us up. Oh, oh my god! She's a big ship, I think they say about 13 uh, stories tall or something like that anyway, not allowed to jump off the edge. Round to the right he says. How are you? Need you to stick close to that wall, mate, only because your height. The height, okay. Thanks, mate. Thanks, pal. We check out how close this caravan here is to the uh, roof over there, eh? He's feeding him got about, I don't know, maybe three inches, four inches. They've calculated that pretty wisely or unwisely. 
bit, bit rough and gutsy. Dogs here, they're getting ready for their trip over in the ocean there. And it's about like 25 bucks you can perk your dog with you. What do you reckon about that? It's good. Got a hole? No. <laughs> oh, here's our room, a couple of beds, and it's got a uh, window. Ooh, let's have a look out there and see what we can see. Yeah, there's a horizon over there. And if you look down, we're about eight stories up. And there's the port of Melbourne out there. What do you reckon, Al? It's pretty high up, isn't it? Sure. Hey? So oh, cool. <laughs> what do you got in here? Many toilet and shower and stuff. So this is your showers, your toilets, so it's a bit like motorhome, so we're pretty much at home here, you know, like shower, there's a nozzle, place to put your soap, floor to slip on, anyway, all that sort of gear, we've gone out of focus here, got to back up a little bit, toilet, don't need to see that too closely, and a sink and a mirror, and I don't know what these things are, are toast holders, I think, there we go, and it's got the bed there facing the front of the boat, so she gets a tansy quicker. <laughs> Yeah, there we go, yep. This is the uh, table and chairs over here for the office. There we go. There's a daggy Queensland fella. We're in Tasmania on the night before, no, nah, not Christmas, Ellie's birthday! Hey! <laughs> and we've got some prezzies there. There, there's some, some prezzies over there. Your escape plan, so when you get on fire and everything's burning down around you, all you got to do is just read a little bit of this information down here and you can find your way out and save yourself. Pull us out into the mainstream and then we just get under our own sail and away we go. Oh no, I picked him up. She was built to be driven hard to the point of the in Australia. Hello, Tasmania, that other continent. <laughs> Anyway, so that's the souvenir shop. You can buy all sorts of pens and you know cards and brochures and oh look, I don't know, I'm just rambling on really. Stuff you buy in Turo shops. And in here, more importantly, this is the theatre. It's a bit dark and I'm a bit lost to know how to find my way back home. This way. Starting to blow up a bit of a blizzard now, like, well, you know, I don't know how much, 30 knots plus the speed of the boat, so about 100. Anyway, I don't really know how much, but she's blowing pretty hard and strong, and starting to be up a bit of swell, we're all waving about and all that sort of thing. And I forget what I was going to say, but just in case it's my last message or anything like that, what you've got to try and practice before you come on the boat is when you go to the toilet and sort of thing, you've got to try and get your aim right and it's pretty hard in these sort of conditions. You might want to practice you know, on land before you get out here in the ocean. Anyway, not much more to say here at the moment, just want to get back inside. Woo! Well, here we go, folks. Now, we're all coming into the shoreland over here and the land and the property of the Tasmanians. And the boat drive was pretty good. It's good to sleep through that night, you know what I mean? Wake up and looking outside there now, it's all nice and smooth and calm. And as you saw out in the background out there, the uh, sun's just about to come up. For the first day, here we are in the great south mystery land of the Tassies. 
land of Tasmania and Tiger and big white sharks and all the other cool things that they've got here and a lot of other beautiful peaceful things as well like Tasmanian Devil anyway Spirit of Tasmania, it's been a cool cruise it's nice to be back on land I'll tell you what, looking out over the side there it's enough to make you want to just go back inside I'll give you another look over here there we go oh, it turns on the crapola in your pants that's for sure all right, how's all this cool gear up here? This got like wings and stuff like that. I reckon we get enough speed up in this boat, we might be able to get a little bit of a hovercraft thing happening, you know? And up the front there, that's the captain's, um, what do you call it? Steering box. Uh, but there's no one in there, but that's probably could because, um, you know, we're close enough to shore now just to sort of park up on the beach. We don't have to worry about a captain anymore, hopefully. All right, it's time to go down and get on some um, more clothes and get on the shore and see how the old motorhome's going downstairs, eh? Adios. Cooey! Got to let them know the Aussies are coming. Oh, I mean, you know, the northern Aussies, you know. Now we're heading off the boat. This is the out, the out ramp off the um, uh, Spirit of Tasmania 2, which is what the boat we went on. And there's Ellie over there, morning Ellie. Welcome to the great mystery land called Tasmania. <coughs> so, there you go, that's what she reckons about that so far. So here we go, we're just about to land now. All overboard. Woohoo! Righto, where's Maccas? Boat. Adios, boat. Well, there's the boat way back over there yonder and we're here now standing on Tasmania. There's Maccas. <laughs> Time for Bracky. <laughs> Doink. <laughs> Slipping out the window, lazy cotton breeze, sitting on the front porch. You are right next to me. Hear the leaves clapping, buzzing of a bee. Hello. 